Hey everyone, today I'm going to be uh, going over how I made this procedural walking thing. This is going to be a short video because my cat won't leave me alone. He keeps attacking me and chewing on the microphone, so uh, let's get started. Uh, okay, so I started off by using animation rigging and inverse kinematics on the feet to make it so that if the new target position had moved enough, then the feet would reposition instantly. Okay, so then I realized that when you're walking, uh, your center of mass is being projected forward and then your foot is moving to compensate so that it will still be your center of mass in the future. So in two dimensions, that just turns into a box. So I started off with just projecting a box under the character that had the width of his stance and um, the depth of, you know, what the spacing between foot would be. Okay, so the next step, step, fuck. So the next step is to scale the box based on uh, forward displacement and lateral displacement. So if you're moving forward, that box is going to get wider. If you're taking bigger steps, if you're side, if you're stepping to the side, same thing. Okay, now we're going to use our scaled velocity to change the center of the box. So now we're actually projecting it out to where our center of mass and stability points will be in the future, which is you know what I said a few seconds ago when I showed the video of me walking. Okay, so um, using debug.drawbox has its limitations, so I opted to use debug.drawline to show all of the corners directly. They're not scaled with rotation yet, but now we can see where each of our individual corners is, uh, which is going to come in handy later. Okay, so now we create a uh, mapping function based on the player velocity that tells uh, tells it which foot needs to move forward based on the direction that you're moving. So obviously if you're stepping sideways, your foot is not going to go into the same spot in the square as it would if you're moving forwards. And if you're moving backwards, it's going to go to the back of the square instead of the front of the square. So that's what this mapping function does. Okay, now I'm just adding a little bit of animation um, and horizontal or vertical displacement to the foot movement, which uh, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I probably shouldn't have done it this early. Okay, so then I added some black spheres to show um, where the new target position is going to be. So you can see black sphere appears, and then the other spheres, the translucent red and blue spheres, start uh, interpolating towards it. Here, this is just after some fine tuning to make things move a little bit better. The feet have their own very basic scripts that uh, take the target position and then height adjust it with ray casts. So uh, you can walk upstairs and stuff, and they will, you know, sit on the stairs and not be awkward and like hover. The next step was to make sure that the box rotated and still uh, would pass all of the checks and mappings, which that was a huge pain to deal with. And then even after I cleared up all the rotation stuff, um, there were still some bugs like uh, I needed to make sure that the left foot and right foot would alternate. So when the character moves forward, we check which foot is furthest from the center of mass and then we move that one and then we say, okay, that foot can't move again until the next one moves. And then you just do that over and over and over and over so that way the foot alternates. Um, Initially, I didn't have that. I just said whichever foot is the furthest away gets moved, and that would result in a lot of really weird behaviors. I also made it so that when you rotate in place like this, your feet will move to compensate, and uh, I don't stop moving around, so you don't see it in this clip, but if you stop, uh, your feet will move into the most stable configuration uh, one at a time, so it looks good. Um, it took me a couple of days. It was a lot of fun. I got to learn about Unity's animation rigging stuff. Um, I just did it because I didn't want to hook up, you know, like four or eight different animations uh, for a character like holding a gun. So this is just an idle pose with, you know, his legs are moving. Uh, but yeah, code's all on GitHub. It's really messy, but I think it's kind of a neat, um, it's like a neat, fun proof of concept type thing. All right, thanks for watching.